we can begin by taking a few deep breaths. Breathing in up to our capacity. And when we breathe out, as soon as we fill, we've emptied all the air. Just push out just a little bit more, letting go completely. still focusing on the breath, begin to bring in your recent experiences, feelings, thoughts around the recent events. Begin to notice how you felt upon hearing about it or watching a video about it, about George Floyd, cops, policemen, protesters, government. And first begin to notice that each of these are objects of mind. And they all point to real beings out in the world, George Floyd. each of the policemen, protesters, but notice that our experience of them is an image. And notice how that image sits with you, bringing up George Floyd. How have we transformed that image? Or otherwise, how have we discriminated over that image or that piece of life? In other words, how have we set up the scenery of each of those objects? Have we transformed George Floyd into a race? How 
How have we transformed? The policeman, even by saying policeman, is that already a transformation? Notice how when some of us saw the scene, we felt like we knew what was happening. Breathing in, begin to take any in any dualities that have been set up, perhaps between the good guys and the bad guys. The victim victims and perpetrators. The black and the white. violence and nonviolence. Notice how firm some of those assumptions or how obvious they come to mind. Notice how, because of these perceptions, how you felt, how it controlled the way you felt and what thoughts emerged.
maybe you felt hopeless due to these transformations of perception. Or maybe you felt firm about what needed to be done. Or maybe you felt sadness, anger, joy. And also notice how if the perception was rearranged, that you might experience it differently. Almost like seeing food that you believe is tasty while you're hungry and then seeing the same food when you're completely full. Breathing in, breathing out. And what does it mean to dissolve those perceptions and experience Everything is life, constantly moving and changing, and where we are unable to pin it down, but we do not suffer from it. when we see that everything is not dualistic, but connected, that within the perpetrator lies the victim, within the victim lies the perpetrator, within the good guy there has to be bad, within the bad guy there has to be good. When we start to look deeply And we see that we separated things out where there can be no separation. And how do we sit with that? Do 
do we sit with that by trying to gain ground by discriminating again taking the ambiguity and trying to make the world clear even discriminate against ourselves. I am this, and this is how I'm involved in this situation. I am a good person. I am a just person, so of course I take this side. Or I am a black person, so of course I take this side. Or I am a white person, and of course I take this side? Or do we see if we can sit with groundlessness? bring our attention back into the room. So now 